Hey guys, Mike the Vike here, back for yet another video. Today we're doing a Rust update. Firstly, I'm just gonna say, um, I know some of you guys are like, where's the gameplay videos? And the reality is that I just uh, am a little bit busy these days, and I haven't had time to do the more complicated videos like the Rust gameplays, which require a bit of time to edit. So, instead of uploading no videos, I thought at the very least I could get you guys these Rust updates, as well as more series like the base tours. Hopefully I can do more series like that, because I actually really enjoy doing them, like the commentary style videos, which I haven't really done a whole lot of before. But anyways, this week um, they added a couple things. Not as huge an update as others, but I still think it's awesome. The main thing is the addition of the floor frame. Um, very similar to the wall frame they added last week. It's upgradable. It starts as twig, of course, like everything, and you can upgrade it all the way up to armored. Pretty basic. It's the same health as the walls. There are currently two things that you can place in this, the floor grill and the ladder hatch. Neither of these are upgradable, unfortunately, so they're not like the frames where you start as twig and work your way up. So their health stats are not upgradable, which is unfortunate because... Um, that removes a lot of the practicality of these things when compared to, like, stone. Even stone is better, and sheet metal is better as well. Anyways, the floor grill is here, as you can see. There's the ladder hatch. Um, the main advantage with the grill is that you can see through it, but I've tried shooting through it, and you can't. So, it's a little bit funny. I'm not sure um, how popular this would be. I think, again, it's kind of similar to, like, the fences and stuff where it's more just cosmetic, which I still really like. Um, but yeah, not, not super practical. The ladder hatch, on the other hand, is very cool. Um, firstly, because it's a very cool animation, undoubtedly. And they added really nice sounds, too. Oh, looks like these can connect. That's cool, actually. You can place a code lock on this floor hatch as well, which is good. Um, pretty standard... You, you, I mean, it's pretty simple to understand. I'm not sure, again, how useful it will be. Um, I guess it's cool and it stops pe like raiders from being able to climb up. But because it's so cheap and easy to destroy, like you can destroy all this with one C4. Whereas a floor takes two. So it's a weak spot, which is dumb. Of course, you could add doors and stuff, so make it hard to access. But um, I guess it's okay. Nonetheless, a very cool addition to the game. I just wish that um, you could upgrade it to like armored so that it would actually be as effective as something like a regular floor. Apart from that, they added sound effects for all the new items. You heard the one on the ladder hatch there. They added a really nice opening sound for the gate. And also, honestly, my favorite thing is the fence gate. Oh! I don't know why. But that's like the greatest sound I've ever heard in a long time. That just sounds amazing to me. I did this for a very long time before I recorded this video because... I just really love that noise. Honestly. Oh, okay, okay. It's a little addicting, but that's fine. Um, honestly, the only other thing they added this week was they added a couple new textures to the dungeons. But it's not worth showing, honestly, because it's very insignificant. It's just like fences and concrete walls. So, really, a pretty small update this week. However, it's okay because, um, well, maybe not next week, but they're working on some very big things coming to the game soon. Just some examples would be they've got a flamethrower in the works. They've got a very big leveling system being added soon. A couple of the main developers are working on that. Got a tuna can wall lamp, which is great. I've been wanting something like that for a very long time. So, you know, they're working on some some time-consuming things, so of course not every w every week will be amazing. Still cool though, I mean the, the hatch is awesome, and I'm sure people will use it in their bases, it's just for the higher end it may not be that well used, but I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, maybe it's good. I might as well toss in a little server update on this, so we moved to the dedicated server this week. It was an interesting transition, um, it's good to be on a dedicated, but uh, the performance hasn't been as improved as I thought it would be. The reality is the the problem with the lag on the server has nothing to do with the server. We're using 5% of our CPU and memory, so there's not much I could do in that department. I can't just throw money at servers and expect the lag to go away. The problem is more so with entity counts, plugins, those are basically the main things. Because it's a four times gather rate on the server, there's four times as many entities as, um, I guess, the developers 
would anticipate, if you understand, because people are building a lot quicker. We're trying to work on it. We've got a decay plugin working on it for wooden twig. Anyways, I'd just like to say in summary, we're trying to fix the lag, but it is going to take time because it's a lot of testing and and stuff like that to get it perfect. But um, we're trying. If you want to join the server, of course, this is my server. Um, I play on here when I can. There's info on how to do so in the description. Pretty popular server. We, we have like normally around 100 players. Anyways, that's all I got for this Rust update. I'm looking forward to future updates because this one, it was good, but you know, I've seen better. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like on the video. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next video.